So if you've ever changed a clutch in a motorcycle or ATV before in a, in a multi-plate uh, clutch, you would have come across the point where you had to torque that clutch hub nut in the center there by my hand. And most people don't have the specialty tools, so they grab an impact and da-da-da. Well, that is fine for taking it off, but it is not fine for assembly. You will pull those threads and you will make a mess or you, or you just plain don't even know it until later on. So the aftermarket world has this pretty inexpensive tool. This is a Bike Master one. I'm going to show you how it didn't work in this case with a really, really high torque fastener. And then the OEM has their own version, but it's quite expensive. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own tool with parts that you already have. And all you got to have is a little welder. So if you like this, stay tuned. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. Hey friend, Shane from HowToRanch.com. I want to show you something here. We're torquing up this clutch hub nut. It gets torqued, uh, so this is the GSXR 750 Moto Gymkhana single speed motorcycle <laughs> we're building here. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe, you're gonna like this. But anyway, we're torquing this up and this is 108 foot pounds and then you stake it. And the normal tool, and even the factory tool looks like this, except it has a rod that comes in this way and it's, it's much more rigid. It's a way heavier duty tool rather than a $20 tool off Amazon like this. But I gotta say, I use this on a million different models and it works great, okay? I just, it wasn't working here and I wanna show you why. And if you keep trying, you really risk breaking a finger off the basket or something. So let me show you what was going on. We put this in here, you thread this to a point where you, you get it to where you want, you lock it down, you go center to be the strongest. I'd actually even go like one more tooth here. Okay, so I'm right across from each other, the widest spot. And I'd lock this down. It's even got a little lock nut, try and hold it. But as we were, when we got to 50 pounds, or I think we were trying to aim to 75 mm -hmm. is when it started to split. 50 it torqued and it going to 75. What's happening is this was flexing this way, allowing this pin to get in between these two, allowing it to open, and this was wanting to jump off. Now, knowing this is risky, I really, as I'm torquing these, I'm always paying attention to this. I want to watch this. I'm not even watching the tool or the nut. I'm watching to make sure this isn't going to slip off. So we said, you know what? We got to quit. It just isn't going to work. Something's going to break. And I jumped on Amazon. I was going to maybe grab something else. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go my old school way of doing it. And I'm just going to make one. And what you could do here is you take your old steels and it's not too bad. It can be a little bit of a pain because some of the MIG wire, when you're not, you know, tigging it, wants to get in here and you got to file it back off. But just make sure you're not going to damage your hub. You take a couple of old steels. I don't even know that you need a couple, you know. I think I got a little dirt on there right now. Okay. So easy to pick up from the table or gloves or anything, okay. So I want you to see what I did here, though, that was pretty slick got this triangular you know pattern to support this so that you get some more leverage on this side of the basket but look what I did I made this long enough to to hit the foot peg and intentionally welded this up in the direction of how we would tighten this one happens to be a clockwise or a, a normal threaded fastener right so the great thing about this is it eliminates the need for the second person right super rad but check this out at 108 pounds it still bent this all thread I was successful we got the torque you know, but I'll tell you what, I don't know if it needed 110, 115, I think we would have been done for and would have to strengthen this up or triangulate it or do do something. Probably just use some regular steel solid stock rather than cheap uh, all thread. But anyway, this is a great way to get around needing the factory tool. You know, the nice thing about the factory tool is it fits a whole bunch of motorcycles just like this is adjustable. But if you got the time, you got a welder, you got some sanders, this is a really cool way to make it throw it on the shelf label it you know suzuki and see what other models it fits that is my tip of the day we are going to keep going here we made a lot of progress as if you want back up and show the bike we made a lot of progress here uh man i'm ready to button this up actually water pumping everything's done the air side you're doing the radiator um yep. but yeah it's it's really coming along we're, we're gonna be firing this thing up tomorrow i feel so anyway if you haven't done so Make sure to like, share, subscribe. As always, make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? 
Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's going to go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're going to get the deep dive videos. Two, you're going to get access to member only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member channel, it's going to really make it more intimate. We're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots. This community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers to the questions we need. You gotta remember, I love YouTube too. When I wanna learn something, it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that I'm trying to do. So we love that we can do this for you as well, and we just wanna make this a community that is more attentive. So we want to be more relationship focused. The other thing is YouTube does this. I think it's kind of funny, but we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's going to be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, a silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. As I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. It costs a lot to be able to do all this, and we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. Look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you. We're already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.